Hey friends, welcome back. So I'm gonna share with you how to cook the perfect steak at home using the Auto Wild Grill. The steak will taste like something that you would pay 60 or $70 for at a high-end steakhouse. Now what's unique about this grill is we're gonna talk about in today's video is it cooks these steaks perfectly because it uses very high heat which enables you to trap in the moisture in the steaks. They taste phenomenal, so let's break it down. Hey friends, welcome back. So today we're gonna to cook some ribeyes on the Auto Wild Grill. And what makes this grill really unique is it helps you keep the moisture in your meat so it tastes like something that you would buy at a steakhouse where you spend hundreds of dollars on a steak potentially. So we're gonna fire this up, it's really easy to use. And what I like about this grill, not only does it make the meat taste phenomenal, but it's a small form factor. I know some of you live in apartments and condos and you know have like smaller backyards and things like that. So you definitely wanna use this outside. So let's fire it up. And as we're firing it up, what I'm gonna do is First of all, you take this button here, you press it down for three to five seconds, and then you hit the ignite, okay? So it's powered by propane. You have to hold that down for a little bit after the fact, then you let it go, so there's two burners. We just fired one. So now we're gonna turn on the second burner. So again, you hold it down for three to five seconds, let some propane build in there, hit the igniter. I believe it went on there, and I, you continue to hold it for just a little bit, and then I let it go, just look down, and it's on, okay. So again, what makes this grill really unique is it's super high heat and it cooks out under a short duration of time. So it gets up to about 1500 degrees in there, which is quite hot. You're not gonna put your steaks on there, set it and forget it, right? You're gonna be right here kind of watching because you're gonna cook this steak in three to five minutes here. And what we have is some grass-fed ribeyes. So this is from our grass-fed uh, cow that we went in on from a local rancher here. Phenomenal meat. Now, just a little tip here, um, what I like to do before, you know, cooking meat the night before is put some Redmond Real Salt on that. So Redmond Real Salt right on the meat. I like ribeye, uh, for those of you that are new to like a low carb keto or carnivore style diet, the ribeye of course is one of the more popular cuts of meat nowadays. Uh, but what's unique about it is it has a lot of fat in there. So fat of course is very satiating as well. So if you're on a low carb diet, protein and fat are gonna be the recipe to keeping you full and not feeling like you need to snack and do all that. Okay, so again, I let it heat up and if there's any bugs or germs or residual meat on the grill from the last time I used it, that's gonna burn off. Now, what I found through my experimentation is if you turn this down to about three quarters between the low end and the high end, that seems to be the right temperature to get the steaks to cook perfectly without overdoing them. Now, you can absolutely overdo the steak here, but so that's why you wanna be watching and, and being present when you're cooking. So. What I'm gonna do here is take your little handy dandy tool. So again, this, this grill is gonna be super hot, okay? And again, it, it stays right in there like that, which is nice. Now you can raise and lower the grill. I haven't found the need to raise it super high. I like it on the bottom, I think that's just perfect. Okay, so now we've let it heat up. It's plenty warm here. So what we're gonna do is take our grass-fed steaks here, plop them right on the grill. You can already hear them starting to get seared. And again, what makes this grill really unique, friends, is it traps in the moisture due to the high heat, okay? So we're gonna take this. We don't wanna touch that, it's super, super hot. I'm not gonna use a temperature gauge or anything. I'm just gonna visually look at this. I've been cooking steaks on my birch barrel for a long time and barbecuing. So just for fun, what I'll do is get, get down kind of low and just kind of watch it. It's actually really cool to see how quickly this will cook the steaks and then we're gonna flip them. You're trapping the moisture in there. This is how the steakhouses where you go buy a filet mignon for $60 at, at a high-end steakhouse. That's how they're cooking these as well. It's a different mechanism and different cooking apparatus, but you can bring home that high-end steakhouse experience to your condo, your apartment, or your home. Small form factor. It fits right in your backyard. All you need is a propane tank that's about two feet away. So as you can see here, it's just about two minutes and that top side is nice and crisp. So I'm gonna flip it over and get this other side here. Open this up. All right. Okay, so we're gonna go back in there for another few minutes. Now, what's unique about this tray is it's gonna collect all the fat and all the potential drippings and things like that. There's a fat tray there. So this tastes pretty clean. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's cooking very nicely. Right, buddy? You think you're getting some, don't you? Okay, so again, we pulled these out. So let's cut into it and see what these steaks actually look like. After cooking for just about six, seven minutes here, again, this piece was a little bit thicker, so this one cooked a little bit faster. 
But let's just cut into this. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be unreal. Oh my gosh, so that's perfect. So for me, I like it a little medium rare, you know? So that's the cut you get. Now, again, it's very juicy, it's not gonna be dry. So that's, you know, one side here. Here's another piece. This piece was pretty thin, so it cooked. Oh my gosh, you can just feel this. It's so tender. So again, this is a little medium. You could have cooked it a little bit longer. You could have turned it down a little bit. This is what I like. So again, this piece might need to go in just for a little bit longer. Actually, no, look at it. Jeez. I mean, that's perfect. If you went to a steakhouse and got this and you paid $45, $50, you would be happy, right? You would be pleased. But again, this was like $9 or less because we got it from a grass-fed cow and cooked it right in the convenience of our own home. So friends, the Auto Wild Grill is amazing. If you cook a lot, you definitely need to invest in something like this because you can quickly cook. A lot of people say, I would like to cook healthy, but I don't have time. If you don't have time to cook a grass-fed, grass-finished, pasture-raised steak in five minutes, I don't know what you're doing with your time, friends. So what I'll do is there's a coupon code HIH10 where you can save 10% uh, off this amazing grill here. Use the coupon code below. Uh, again, built really well, it looks great. So what I'm gonna do is go on Amazon and get a little cover for this so it can sit out here in the, in the elements and things like that, although we do have a covered deck. You know, some leaves and stuff blow in here, but you don't need much space. If you have an apartment, condo, small deck in your backyard, you can cook amazing steaks right at home. Your friends are gonna be like, how did you make these, right? What I like about this compared to some of the other burners that are out there in popular grills, is you're using manufactured wood, potentially treated wood pellets to smoke and things. I just think this, um, first of all, it's faster. You don't have to go cook all day and it's just easier. Like my wife can already turn it on. I showed her how to use it. So when you're talking about saving time, you could cook burgers on here. You can cook lamb. You can do a lot of different things. So anyway, if you enjoy red meat, you might want to check this out. So definitely click the link below. Thank you Auto Wild for making an amazing product. I'm super excited about this. And I uh, can't wait to invite some friends over and, and just trick them or not tell them what I'm doing, but let them taste the meat first and then have them ask me, wait, what'd you do for this? You did what again? How'd you cook it? Like, um, that's always fun. So friends, thanks as always for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out All The Wild. They're an amazing company. They just make a phenomenal product in Germany. So yeah, definitely check it out. Use the coupon code HIH to save 10%, HIH10 at checkout. We'll catch you in a future video down the road.